Hi everyone, welcome to Clone Compounding, where our mission is to learn from others in order to achieve financial independence. In today's video, we'll look at 10 key reasons why most investors lose money in the stock market. These reasons are very useful reminder about what to be careful about while investing your hard-earned money. Before we get started, please smash that like button so others can find this video as well. Let's dive in! Reason 1. You don't understand what you own. If you don't understand what the company does, how it makes money, what its competitive advantage or moat is, your investment is more like a lottery ticket than an educated guess. This adds unnecessary risk to your portfolio. Also, when the downturn in the stock market will come, you will not have the conviction to keep holding or adding to your investment unless you're well aware of your company's business model. Reason 2. You sell at the wrong time. Many investors have lost significant money by selling too early. The better reasons to sell an investment are you found a better opportunity elsewhere, the fundamentals of the company have changed, you have met your investment goals. These reasons have more to do with your investment strategy than the stock price. Also, knowing your investment strategy provides you with the right mindset when the stock prices decline massively and everyone around you is selling their stocks. Reason 3. You invest based on emotions. Some of the best investors keep emotions out of investing. Look at Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett, Howard Marks or Joel Greenblatt. They are known for making sound decisions during depressed and volatile times and they can do it because they understand psychological biases and act against it. A falling stock price doesn't mean it's time to sell or a rising stock price doesn't mean it's time to buy, especially if the company's fundamentals did not change. Reason 4. You want to break even on your investment. Sometimes we extend our bad decisions due to our psychological biases. For instance, in order to break even on an investment, we refuse to sell the stock till it reaches its original buying price. This makes us lose money through opportunity costs. Not all stock will recover, especially if the company's fundamentals or its competitive positioning has changed. Reason 5. You invest what you should not. Investing is inherently risky. So, it's always advised to invest the money that you don't need in the short term. If you invest your emergency funds or if you have leverage, which is borrowing money to invest, it's very likely you will end up with losses. This is because stock market is unpredictable in the short run. So, if for some reason you need to take your money out of stock market, you are likely to get a bad deal. Reason 6. You don't know your time horizon. Good returns in investing requires time in the market. If you don't need your money for the next 10 years, then it doesn't matter if the stock market is up or down today. And if you need your money in the next 3 to 5 years, then very likely you should not be 100% invested in stocks, but should look at other options such as fixed income or debt market. Reason 7. You don't know your risk tolerance. Risk tolerance means how much risk you can handle. In this case, risk means the possibility of permanent loss of capital invested. Your risk tolerance depends on many factors such as your age, your cash flows, your dependents, your time horizon, etc. If your risk tolerance is low, avoid high-risk stocks or assets such as crypto. Reason 8. You follow the herd. Once again, psychological biases trap us as we feel more safe and secure in following a herd versus thinking and acting against the herd. Just because someone is buying or selling something does not mean we should do the same. It's important to learn from others but one needs to be careful not to blindly follow. Most market bubbles and crashes exist because of this herd behavior. Reason 9. You chase performance. Everyone is investing to get better returns, but the likelihood of getting a better return decreases after a company's stock has already performed well. 
A company that has already gone up 10 times is less likely to go up 10 times again. But many people chase the performance and forget that stock price is more based on the likelihood of future performance and much less on past performance. Reason 10. You are impatient. The single most important skill that successful investors have is patience. Compounding takes time and impatient investors interrupt compounding. Building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint, especially for young investors. So make sure that you only invest what you can afford to lose and then don't interrupt it unnecessarily. All right, that's it from us, everyone. Hope you enjoyed these important reminders on why most investors lose money. Be sure to smash that like button. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. Thank you.